Enter the Dragon, 1973, is not only an iconic martial arts film, but also the masterpiece that catapulted Bruce Lee to worldwide fame. Have you ever wondered what happened to the cast members who starred in this classic and where their lives have taken them over the past five decades? From martial arts legend Bruce Lee to talented co-stars like John Saxon and Jim Kelly, each actor left a unique mark. Join us as we delve into their journeys from the peak of their careers to today, a story not just of film but of life, legacy, and unforgettable memories from the set of Enter the Dragon. Jim Kelly brought the character of Williams to life as a gifted and passionate martial artist who entered the tournament to prove his skill and stand up to formidable foes. Strong, resolute, and unafraid, Williams embodied Kelly's natural confidence and readiness to face any challenge. At 27 years old in 1973, Kelly's role in Enter the Dragon became a hallmark of his career showcasing his unique blend of athleticism and charisma on screen. Born on May 5, 1946 in Millersburg, Kentucky, Kelly's early years were spent as a competitive athlete. He excelled in football and track before a fascination with martial arts captured his focus. He studied Shorin Ryu karate while attending the University of Louisville, quickly advancing in skill until he earned his black belt and established himself as a respected martial artist. His drive and dedication led him to open his own dojo in Los Angeles in the 1960s, becoming one of the first black Americans to do so. Kelly's studio soon became a celebrated space, welcoming students from diverse backgrounds and contributing to the growth of martial arts in black communities. Kelly's breakthrough role in Enter the Dragon positioned him as one of Hollywood's first black martial arts icons. His stylish fighting technique, effortless charm, and signature afro were unforgettable, inspiring audiences worldwide and paving the way for future black action stars. The success of Enter the Dragon brought Kelly roles in action packed black exploitation films like Black Belt Jones, Three the Hard Way, and The Tattoo Connection. These films showcased Kelly's talent as an action hero and highlighted his commitment to authenticity in martial arts portrayals. In his personal life, Kelly's path included both triumphs and hardships. He married twice, with his first marriage ending in divorce. His second marriage to Marilyn Dishman was a deep and supportive union, rooted in their shared passion for fitness and martial arts. Although he didn't have children, Kelly maintained close connections with his family and his students became a sort of extended family, benefiting from his mentorship and passion for martial arts. Known for his reserved nature, he kept much of his private life out of the spotlight, choosing to focus on his work and contributions to the martial arts world. Kelly's later years presented personal and professional challenges. He encountered financial struggles due to typecasting in Hollywood, a limitation that made it difficult for him to secure diverse roles outside of martial arts films. Despite this, he remained a respected figure in the industry, and he stayed connected to his martial arts roots, sharing his expertise through teaching. Tragically, he faced a battle with cancer, which ultimately claimed his life on June 29, 2013, in San Diego, California, at the age of 67. Kien Shi portrayed Han, a ruthless and dangerous drug lord who orchestrated the martial arts tournament to recruit the best fighters for his criminal organization. Han was a cunning and ruthless character, showcasing Shi's exceptional ability to embody complex villains who stop at nothing to achieve their goals. At 60 years old during the filming of Enter the Dragon in 1973, Kian Shi brought a sense of gravitas and authority to the role that resonated with audiences. Born on January 1, 1913 in Chengdu, Sichuan, China, Shi began his career in the film industry in the late 1940s. He quickly gained recognition for his acting prowess, becoming a prominent figure in Hong Kong cinema. Known for his versatility, Shi frequently played both villainous and heroic roles, showcasing a wide range of talents that made him a sought-after actor in the burgeoning martial arts genre. As a veteran actor, 
Qian Shi's career spanned several decades, during which he appeared in numerous films and television shows, solidifying his reputation as a legendary figure in the industry. His performances were characterized by their intensity and depth, particularly in roles where he played antagonists. Shi's role as Han in Enter the Dragon was particularly significant, as it not only established him as an international star, but also placed him alongside the legendary Bruce Lee, forever linking his legacy with one of the most iconic films in martial arts history. Throughout the 1970s and beyond, Qian Shi continued to work in both Hong Kong and mainland Chinese cinema, appearing in films such as The Young Master and The One-Armed Swordsman. His ability to captivate audiences with his portrayals of complex characters contributed to the popularity of martial arts films during this golden age of cinema. In his personal life, Shi was known to be a private individual, maintaining a low profile outside of his professional endeavors. He was married and had children, but details about his family life remained largely undisclosed to the public. Despite his success, she faced challenges typical of many actors in the industry, including fluctuations in popularity and changing trends in cinema that impacted his roles. Qian Shi lived a long and fruitful life, passing away on June 3, 2009, at the remarkable age of 96. His death marked the end of an era for fans of classic martial arts cinema. But his legacy lives on through his unforgettable performances and the impact he made in shaping the genre. Today, Qian Shi is celebrated not only for his iconic role as Han, but also for his extensive contributions to the film industry, leaving an indelible mark on the world of cinema that will be remembered for generations to come. Bruce Lee, who starred as Lee, was a formidable martial artist and actor, renowned for his mastery and dedication to martial arts. Born on November 27, 1940 in San Francisco, Lee's early years were split between the United States and Hong Kong, where he was exposed to both Western culture and traditional Chinese martial arts. From a young age, he exhibits an immense curiosity and passion for physical disciplines, particularly Wing Chun, which he trained in under the mentorship of legendary martial artist Ip Man. This foundation not only honed his physical abilities, but also cultivated his philosophical outlook on life. As an adult, Lee returned to the U.S. and enrolled at the University of Washington, where he studied philosophy. His time there expanded his views, and he soon developed his own martial arts philosophy and practice, which he termed Jeet Kune Do, a style that emphasized flexibility, efficiency, and the blending of techniques from various martial arts. Lee's martial arts prowess, combined with his charisma, soon caught Hollywood's attention, and he starred in several iconic martial arts films, including The Big Boss and Fist of Fury. His breakout role came with Enter the Dragon, a project that cemented his status as a global martial arts icon. In his personal life, Bruce Lee was married to Linda Emery, later known as Linda Lee Cadwell, in 1964. The couple shared a close bond, one rooted in shared values and mutual support. They had two children together, Brandon, born in 1965, and Shannon, born in 1969. The family experienced both great joy and hardship, and Lee's intense schedule often meant he was separated from them for long periods. However, they maintain a strong familial bond despite these challenges. Lee's life was marked by both phenomenal achievements and tragic lows. His intense training regimen and relentless pursuit of martial arts perfection led him to suffer health complications, including a significant back injury in 1970. This setback forced him into a period of deep reflection and physical recovery, from which he emerged stronger, with a refined approach to both martial arts and life. Tragically, another unexpected event occurred on July 20, 1973, just weeks before the release of Enter the Dragon. At age 32, Lee died in Hong Kong under mysterious circumstances, leaving the world in shock and marking the end of a promising career that had only just begun. 
Today, Bruce Lee's legacy continues to inspire millions worldwide, transcending the limits of cinema and martial arts. His wife Linda and their children, particularly Shannon, have worked tirelessly to preserve his legacy, ensuring that Bruce Lee remains a symbol of strength, resilience, and the unending pursuit of personal excellence. Betty Chung portrayed Mei Ling, a secret agent working for the government who assists Lee in his mission. Mei Ling is characterized by her intelligence, courage, and unwavering willingness to face danger, embodying Chung's ability to portray strong female characters with depth and resilience. At 26 years old during the filming of Enter the Dragon in 1973, Chung brought youthful vitality to her role, making her a memorable ally to Bruce Lee's character. Born in 1947 in Hong Kong, Betty Chung grew up in an environment rich in cultural influences that shaped her artistic ambitions. Her early life was marked by a love for performance, leading her to pursue a career in entertainment. Chung studied acting and dance, eventually making her film debut in the late 1960s. Her dedication to her craft quickly garnered attention, and she began appearing in various films, showcasing her talent and versatility. Chung's role as Mei Ling in Enter the Dragon was pivotal, as it not only established her as a prominent actress in the martial arts genre, but also highlighted the important contributions of women in action films during a time when they were often relegated to supporting roles. Mei Ling's character demonstrated intelligence and resourcefulness, proving to be an invaluable ally to Lee and adding depth to the film's narrative. Her portrayal resonated with audiences, and she became a beloved figure in the martial arts film community. After Enter the Dragon, Betty Chung continued to act in films and television series, expanding her repertoire and taking on diverse roles. She appeared in productions such as The Amazing Chan and The Chan Clan and The Incredible Hulk, showcasing her adaptability as an actress. However, as the years progressed, Chung began to shift her focus away from acting, seeking a more peaceful and private life. Currently at the age of 77, Betty Chung has retired from the spotlight and enjoys a quieter lifestyle. While she has largely stepped away from the entertainment industry, she remains a beloved figure among fans of classic martial arts cinema. Chung is known to reflect fondly on her career, cherishing the experiences and connections she made throughout her time in the film industry. Chung's legacy lives on through her iconic role in Enter the Dragon and her contributions to the representation of women in action films. Today, she is celebrated not only for her talent and grace on screen, but also for her ability to inspire future generations of actresses and filmmakers. As she enjoys her well-deserved peace away from the limelight, Betty Chung's influence in the world of cinema continues to be felt, reminding us of the powerful impact of strong female characters in film history. John Saxon portrayed Roper, a tough, resilient fighter and an old friend of Lee's character, joining the tournament due to personal struggles. Roper was a strong, determined man who never backed down from a challenge. In 1973, when filming Enter the Dragon, John Saxon was 37 years old. Born as Carmine Orico on August 5, 1936, in Brooklyn, New York, Saxon was raised in a working-class Italian-American family. From an early age, he displayed an interest in both acting and physical fitness, a combination that would later make him an ideal candidate for roles demanding both charisma and athleticism. He attended New Utrecht High School, and after graduation, he studied acting under the guidance of renowned teacher Stella Adler, who helped him refine his craft and establish his presence on screen. In the 1950s, Saxon's talent was discovered by a Hollywood talent scout, leading to a contract with Universal Pictures. His early career saw him acting in a range of roles, from westerns to dramas, before making a name for himself in action and horror genres. By the 1970s, Saxon was a well-established figure in Hollywood, known for his rugged good looks and ability to play complex characters. His role in Enter the Dragon in 1973 showcased his martial arts skills and solidified his status as a versatile action star. 
Saxon's career would go on to span over six decades, including notable appearances in A Nightmare on Elm Street and Joe Kidd, displaying his unique adaptability across genres. Saxon's personal life was marked by a series of relationships and three marriages. His first marriage to screenwriter Mary Ann Murphy in 1967 ended in divorce, and he later married Elizabeth Saxon, with whom he had a son named Antonio. His last marriage was to Gloria Martel in 2008, a union that lasted until his passing. Known to be a private man, Saxon kept his family life away from the public eye, but was close to his loved ones, maintaining a stable family life in his later years. His family life and experiences shaped his balanced approach to acting and his steady career, which rarely saw major controversies or interruptions. Though he was celebrated in Hollywood, Saxon faced some personal challenges, including periods of financial difficulty due to fluctuating work opportunities. Additionally, he dealt with health issues in his later years, including a battle with pneumonia, which eventually contributed to his passing. On July 25, 2020, Saxon died in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, at the age of 83, leaving behind a legacy of dynamic performances and a dedication to his craft that inspired many. Today, John Saxon is remembered as a talented, adaptable actor who embodied strength and resilience both on and off the screen. Bolo Jung portrayed Bolo a ruthless and powerful henchman of Han, renowned for his exceptional strength and formidable fighting skills. Bolo was characterized by his cunning and brutality, embodying Jung's impressive physicality and intense on-screen presence. At just 27 years old during the filming of Enter the Dragon in 1973, Jung's performance left a lasting impression, establishing him as one of the iconic villains of martial arts cinema. Born on July 3, 1946, in Guangzhou, China, Bolo Jung's journey into the world of martial arts began at a young age. He trained rigorously in various disciplines, ultimately becoming a competitive bodybuilder and a well-respected martial artist. Before his foray into acting, Jung was a champion in bodybuilding competitions, earning recognition for his impressive physique. His background in sports and martial arts laid a strong foundation for his future career in film. Jung's role as Bolo in Enter the Dragon was a defining moment in his career, as it showcased not only his combat skills, but also his ability to portray complex villains with a menacing presence. His character's physical prowess and fierce loyalty to Han created a palpable tension throughout the film, making him a memorable adversary to Bruce Lee's character. This performance propelled him into the spotlight and opened doors for numerous opportunities in the burgeoning martial arts film genre. Following Enter the Dragon, Bolo Young continued to work in various films, solidifying his status as a staple in action and martial arts cinema. He appeared in notable titles such as The Ultimate Fighter, Bloodsport, and Tiger Claws, where he often played formidable opponents or henchmen. His distinct look, characterized by his muscular build and unique facial features, made him a recognizable figure in the industry. Despite the challenges that often come with the fickle nature of Hollywood, Young managed to maintain a steady presence in the film world. He balanced his acting career with his passion for martial arts, often participating in demonstrations and training sessions to inspire younger generations of martial artists. His dedication to fitness and martial arts has allowed him to remain active well into his later years. Currently, at the age of 78, Bolo Jung continues to engage with the martial arts community and the film industry. He remains an inspirational figure, often sharing his experiences and knowledge with aspiring martial artists and actors. While he may have stepped back from leading roles in major films, his legacy endures through his iconic performances and the impact he has made in shaping the martial arts genre. Anna Capri portrayed Tanya, the cunning and alluring assistant to Han, who played a pivotal role in supporting and executing her boss's elaborate schemes. 
Tanya was a character characterized by her intelligence and charm, showcasing Capri's ability to embody multifaceted roles that combined strength and seduction. In 1973, while filming Enter the Dragon, Anna Capri was 29 years old, bringing a youthful energy to the character that left a lasting impression on audiences. Born on July 6, 1944, in New York City, Capri's early life was marked by a blend of artistic ambition and the challenges of growing up in a bustling urban environment. She began her career in entertainment at a young age, initially appearing in television shows during the 1950s. Her early roles included guest appearances on popular series such as The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet and The Jack Benny Show, showcasing her talent and versatility as an actress. Capri's breakthrough came in the 1970s when she transitioned to film, and her role as Tanya in Enter the Dragon solidified her status as a rising star. Her portrayal of the enigmatic assistant highlighted her ability to navigate the complexities of her character while maintaining an air of mystery and allure. This role, alongside others in her filmography, showcased her knack for playing strong female characters who often operated behind the scenes in male-dominated narratives. Throughout her career, Anna Capri starred in various films and television series, including The Green Hornet, Mission Impossible, and The Rockford Files, further establishing herself as a versatile actress capable of crossing genres. Her performances often combined a blend of charisma and depth, allowing her to resonate with audiences and garner critical acclaim. In her personal life, Capri faced her own set of challenges. She experienced the ups and downs of Hollywood, navigating a competitive industry that often struggled to offer substantial roles for women, particularly as they aged. Despite these obstacles, Capri remained passionate about her craft, embracing opportunities in both film and television. She was known to be private about her personal affairs, but valued her friendships within the industry. Tragically, Anna Capri passed away on August 19, 2010, at the age of 66. Her death marked the loss of a talented actress who had made significant contributions to the entertainment world. Capri's legacy continues to resonate with fans of classic cinema and television, as she is remembered for her captivating performances and the strong, resourceful characters she brought to life on screen. Today, she is celebrated not only for her work in Enter the Dragon, but also for her overall contributions to the film and television landscape during a pivotal time in Hollywood history. Robert Wall portrayed O'Hara, one of Han's ruthless and loyal henchmen, always ready to execute dangerous and violent missions. O'Hara was characterized by his strength and decisiveness, embodying Wall's formidable presence on screen. At 34 years old, during the filming of Enter the Dragon in 1973, Wall's performance as a menacing enforcer added tension and excitement to the film, showcasing his martial arts prowess and acting talent. Born on August 22, 1939, in Chicago, Illinois, Robert Wall developed a passion for martial arts at an early age. He began training in karate and eventually earned a black belt, which paved the way for his career in the entertainment industry. Wall's dedication to martial arts not only shaped his personal life, but also opened doors for him in Hollywood, leading to roles that highlighted his skills and physicality. Wall's breakthrough came with his role in Enter the Dragon, which not only solidified his reputation as a martial artist in film, but also established him as a strong character actor capable of portraying complex roles. His performance as O'Hara showcased a blend of charisma and menace, making him a memorable presence alongside Bruce Lee and the other iconic characters in the film. This role helped him gain further opportunities in the industry, and he soon became a sought-after actor in martial arts cinema. Throughout his career, Wall appeared in a variety of films and television series, further establishing himself in the action genre. He worked on projects such as The Green Hornet, The Wrecking Crew, and The Good Guys, demonstrating his versatility as both an actor and martial artist. His roles often involved physicality and showcased his commitment to authenticity in martial arts portrayals. 
In his personal life, Wall was known for his strong family values and maintained a relatively private existence outside the limelight. He married and had children, and his family was a significant source of support throughout his life. Though details about his personal relationships remained largely under wraps, it was clear that Wall prioritized his family alongside his professional endeavors. Tragically, Robert Wall passed away on January 30, 2022, at the age of 82. While the specific cause of his death was not disclosed, his passing marked the loss of a beloved figure in the martial arts and film community. His contributions to Enter the Dragon and the action genre as a whole left a lasting impact, and he is remembered fondly by fans for his memorable performances and dedication to his craft. Today, Wall's legacy endures, as he is celebrated for his role in shaping the landscape of martial arts cinema and inspiring future generations of martial artists and actors. Who is your favorite character in the Enter the Dragon, and what do you think when some of the actors pass away? Please leave your comments below this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to wait for my next videos. Thank you.